Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be actually reviewing Rainbow Mealworms. Just because, you know why, you've probably seen my uh, <laughs> the, um, unboxing Rainbow Mealworms gone wrong. And I'm kind of proud of that video, not gonna lie. But who cares anyway? But anyway, here are the small crickets. I don't know if you can see them, I'll turn around. You can probably see them. But well, these guys are tiny, and that's why they're good for Sea Moon because he has a tiny mouth. And they, like, I only got a couple that were dead, probably around like 10, maybe 15. And that's a really good ratio because you get 50, and only like 10 arrive to you dead. You start getting like an entire 45, which is really good. So yeah, that definitely plus on that. So the larger crickets, which were actually, instead of like a small bin, which had a height about this much, which stored the smaller crickets, they were in like a much taller bin, like like I would show you, but I don't care anymore. But um, like that, like that tall, that, that tall cup was supposed to provide them climbing space so that they won't eat each other. And I actually think that's pretty brilliant. Um, like, it's the same when it comes, like, when they arrived, it's kind of the same when it comes to the smaller crickets. Only a couple of them were dead. Most of them were alive. And yeah. So, gotta put that down. And I gotta grab these. There we go. Probably grab like some sort of. Oh, oh come on. There we go. All right. So I'll just grab this flashlight because it's one of the brightest. And here are my red or Turkestan roaches. And time to open up the bin because I want you guys to see them. And. But well, when, when they arrived to me, they were, like, most of the females practically already had an egg sac. I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, that red glowy, glossy thing right there, that's an egg sac, or an uthika. Those are basically just egg sacs that, this, that the female sucks into their body, and then once it's ready, they'll give birth. So, yeah. But I'm going to see if I can get a couple of them. So I'll hold... Yeah, this is good. I think that's a male right there, or a couple of large nymphs. Actually, no, like, the source of them will be, like, right here, because, you know, I added a heating mat. Look at that. They're all so healthy. Like, they practically already gave birth in the ship, in the, in the cup that they were shipped in. And I find that really awesome. Because I never saw, like, seen a feeder roach give birth before. Which is really awesome. By the way, I'll be doing a, um, a just care video about crickets and red runner roaches. Just because I have them. And I might as well just do a video on them because I never did them before. Well, never fed them off. Well, actually, I did feed them off. It's just that Geb literally didn't want the male red runner roach, so I had to force feed him. He enjoyed it. Like, force feeding frogs is basically just, like, it's simple if they're not willing to eat and they haven't eaten in a long time. I used the force feeding because I wanted Geb to get used to that feeder. But I'm probably just going to have to get him used to crickets now because I fed him two male red runner roaches. And Sea Moon's tank actually is right over here, and you can see Sea Moon as well. And you can see that cup. I'm gonna probably take it out. All right. So this is the feeder cup. It, ha it has a couple of small crickets in it, a big cricket, and a big. Actually, yeah, I think they. Yeah, they ate the red runner roach. Well, that's unfortunate. But yeah, a couple of small crickets, a medium cricket, a large cricket, a couple of mealworms, and a dead 
and a, yeah, a dead run runner roach. So that kind of sucks. But I'll just put it back. But yeah, I still have not seen Simon eat yet. But I might force feed him after this video. So he can get used to crickets or mealworms. Or just, well actually no, just crickets or Turkestan roaches. But yeah, uh, I give rainbow mealworms a, a 3, actually no, 